The crisis in Venezuela rages on. Joining me now is Phil Levy. He's with the Chicago Council on Global Affairs. And good to have you on the show. It's great to be back. Is this a situation that Americans should be paying attention to? Could this have an effect on the U.S.? Yes, it can have an effect on the U.S. Venezuela has been one of the more sort of prosperous and historically leading country in South America. This is right in our backyard. If things really go south there, we're going we're gonna to feel the effects. Right. We were getting oil from this country. It was a very wealthy country. And yeah. now there's socialism has taken over, correct? That's right. And there's rampant crime. People are in bread lines. It's so horrible. It's hard to get food. I actually know somebody from there, and their family is just suffering. It's terrible. You're absolutely right. They're crossing the border. They're trying to go into Colombia. It can be a desperate situation. So how do you view this at this point? Because I know you're on the side of big business. So how does big business view the situation? I think for big business, sometimes there can actually be temptations in a time of crisis like this. They're offering interest rates, for example, north of 20% which is essentially wow. unheard of these days. But right. there's obviously a big risk premium in there. Everything you described, it's, it's a dangerous place to do business, and some banks won't even take customers down there to check it out because it's so risky. You're seeing some of the investors in things like oil services mm -hmm. um, not getting paid. Oh, so it's tough times all the way around. Right, absolutely. Because at some point when the situation is so bad, you do see people swoop in and try to get great deals. So we saw that in Detroit perhaps, where yeah. people were so destitute, and then now companies are starting to set up shop there, and the city's starting to thrive again. So too early on Venezuela, would you say? I think so. I think it's too early. There, There's a lot of discontent. There's talk about a recall referendum for the new president, who is, you had Hugo Chavez is the leader for all of this, and now mm -hmm. it's Maduro who's leading this. Um, you're having the army try and take weapons from people. I'm not, I think things may get worse before they get better. Are we seeing a situation where Americans who are here and might have family in Venezuela, are they trying to get goods and, and items to those family members? I, I expect they're trying to help. As, as you described, it is a very difficult situation down there. And you're seeing, I mean, among other things, currency crashing. So if somebody can supply things in dollars, that's highly valued. Do you think that Venezuela is on the edge of collapse at this point? I think that's fair to say. I think it really does look like a desperate situation, and you have an opposition legislature pitted against a fairly entrenched executive, and it, they look like dangerous times. We will keep our eyes on the situation. Thank you for the update. It's great to be here with you.